Hey everyone, it's Lily720. Today we will be continuing with The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Um, it is 4 a.m., a little after 4 a.m., and I probably shouldn't be recording, but I'm going to, and I don't know, we'll see what happens. I am quite tired. Um, anyway, we're right outside the, you know, village of outcasts or thieves town or Kakariko village of the dark world, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is actually the location of the fourth dungeon of the dark world. And that's a thief. And we want him to leave us alone. And he's still not leaving us alone. Alright, I think we're okay. Yep, where we want to go is right here. To this gargoyle statue. Uh, normally... Or not normally, but in uh, the light world, this is the... The bird statue, you know, where we got the little duck bird looking thing that'll fly us anywhere. And if we pull on the pitchfork, we'll actually reveal an opening. And here we have the thieves hideout. And uh, this dungeon is pretty short, not that difficult. I like it. And um, I really like the item that you get in here. It pretty much just opens up the rest of the world to you, the rest of like the overworld. And uh, pretty nice. Oh, we got the dungeon map already. Oh, uh, we took some damage already. That's always fun. Um, yeah, there are those things. Oh, I should probably pay attention. Um, here, this little area is like about four rooms and it makes up like half the dungeon. Um, and you can go through some of the walls. Not all of them, I don't think. There's a treasure chest up there that I want to get. Um, it's pretty much in this series of four rooms that we're going to get most of the stuff we need. We're going to get... Um, what are we going to get? We got the map, we're going to get the compass, and we're going to get the big key. That's basically what we're aiming for. And um, this is the first and one of the only times we see these enemies that... I guess is, is dead. And um, the blue ones, they really don't do anything. They just kind of walk around. And um, the red ones, they shoot stuff at you if you're in front of them. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this part, to me, this, you know, going th through the rooms and stuff is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh... Just because there are, like, you know, only certain ways you can go and certain ways you can't. And is this an actual abominable wall? It is. What could be up here? A preview of what is to come. Yeah, we killed them both. That was nice. And oh! Damn it. Ah, oh, there are a lot of those things in this dungeon with the... Okay. Never mind killing stuff, we're just gonna kinda... Keep moving and hope we don't get any lag. Can I go here? I can! Alright, I believe the compass is down here. Yep, we got the compass, and if we just jump off, and should be just to the left. Yep, here we have the big key. That's awesome, and now we can move on. You can't move on from this area until you get... God damn it! Until you get the big key, because there is a... Big locked door. Up ahead. Or in the uh, other room, I think. Um, and just real quick, when you go through this, do not go through this door until you get the big key. Because it will take you back to the first room with the entrance. And um, that the door is going to close behind you. And where am I going? Yep, the door is going to close behind you and you're going to have to do all this again. And it's not that bad, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. And if you can avoid doing that, then... I don't know, I say that's awesome. 
So we can come up here and open the big door. Now here's kind of an interesting thing. This dungeon is um, quite unique in how you um, meet the boss. And this up here, this room, like this is the boss room. It's open already. You don't really need the big key for the door in front of it. But as you can tell, obviously, there's no boss in here. Uh, there will be, just not yet. And we got a key. I'm glad I picked up that pot. And no, I probably would have figured it out eventually since there's only a locked door and a closed door. Um, this door, let's see if we can bring up the map. This dungeon is fairly small. You know, maybe like two floors, but the second floor is like really tiny. Um, half the dungeon was just that area getting the big key. Um, so basically where we are now, we're standing next to a door that is closed to us. That is another door that when you go through it from the other side, because it's just open, it's going to close right behind you. So when you're in the room, like to the left of it, if you can just, you know, like remember, do not go through the door to the right. Um, we'll be able to see. I'll show you like the actual room. I just wanted to point out that door because that door has screwed me over before. Because I'm like, oh, what's in here? Oh, it's where I don't need to be again until like the very end. And that has just, you know, plain sucked. Alright, here we have these weird things. I don't really know what they're called. They're almost like a, like chew jellies from Twilight Princess. That's kind of what they look like. Obviously, this coming before, I just stood in a spike because I was moving and thinking at the same time, which I should never, never ever do. Um, let's check. Oh, god damn it. Okay, let's check. What's up here? Okay, and uh, one more time with the map. Sorry about all of the, you know, map checking. Um, basically, it's in this room that you don't want to go out that door to the right until you're done. And you'll know when you can go th through that door to the right. I mean, it's fairly obvious and there will be more explanations um, as we get there. Whoa. Oh god damn it. I wasn't looking. I'm still not looking. Okay. We made it through. Is there a key here? Yes, there is. And red Hershey squirts. Or pink Hershey squirts. Whatever. Um, this is about the last time there'll be like an appealing color. Um, I think in the next dungeon they're yellow and then they just turn like uh, varying. Damn it. Varying shades of a uh, of green. Sorry, couldn't think of what the word was. Um, switch under the uh, pot and to the right. Okay, these green things like they suck because they kind of move around almost with the same pattern as rats. But instead of taking like a quarter of a heart, they take three. I'm pretty sure. I don't really want to find out. I think I've had to, you know, check to see how much it was before, and yeah, when I checked it was three. There's a cracked floor in the center with light on it, we got bombs in the pots and bombs in a chest. Hmm. I wonder what they want us to do here. Maybe put a bomb down and pick it up and throw it, and I didn't miss the crack, that's awesome. Um. That floor that we just blew up with the light over it, that was in the boss room. And so now there is light on the floor in the boss room and whoa, I did not see that spike. I think we can leave that up, yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm just... 
Gonna get out of here before I die. I'm gonna kill you. Alright. Now where the hell do I want to go? I want to get this anti-fairy. Sorry, like I said, it's 4am and I'm tired. I'm a little out of it. I finally managed to get that fairy. I cannot go that way. There has got to be stairs. Some- oh, hello. Okay. Scratch what I said before. It's not this room that you don't want to go to the right. It's this room that you don't want to go to the right. I thought there were conveyor belts, but I'm often wrong, so I just thought I was wrong. I was also wrong about this door being open. This switch opens the door, but you don't want to go down there. You just want to go down the stairs. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Um, if this dungeon is seeming like hard to anyone, it's not at all, I promise. This block here is too heavy for us to lift? No, it's not. Never mind. That's interesting. Hmm. And I will explain why that's interesting um, a little bit later. I guess, hmm, I don't want to go that way. I think that's just more, you know, death rooms or whatever. I didn't know we could pick up that block already. Do you stun? Oh, you do stun. Hooray. I love like there was one red one and then they just have a bunch of blue ones of these things. And nope, you will not get us. Haha. -ha. We outsmarted the bunny magic. Oh, thank you very much. You saved my life. Please take me outside. So now we have a key and we have rescued the maiden. Or so it seems. But she is not in a crystal like the other three that we've seen seems a little odd to me I think I want to switch my item yes I do and here we get the titan's mitt now you can lift the heaviest stones that were once impossible to budge and the floor is going to start falling and this is that's why I thought it was weird that we could pick up that block already um, I thought you needed, like, the Titan's Mint to pick it up. I thought that was the thing, but oh, oh well. And we're actually, like, pretty much almost done because now, um, this is the point where you know you can exit through this door to the right when you have the Titan's Mint. And you have the Maiden because you're going to need her for stuff. And we can walk up in here. And... I don't know if you remember, maybe not, maybe so, but earlier we visited a place in Kakariko Village in the Light World that looked a lot like this, and a thief there talked about the head of the thieves, I think, I think that's who it was, named Blind, who didn't like light. And now, we take the maiden into the light, yeah, too bright, and she turns into Blind, and we uneventfully sword him until he dies and I don't I this ba this boss battle isn't difficult I just I have a hard time with it for some reason I think it takes maybe about two hearts per hit I hope it's not three I have a fairy so he shoots lasers and uh, if you hit you hit him enough times I'm gonna drink a potion you hit him enough times and then, you know, his head will fall off and start flying around the room and, and shoot fireballs at you. And he's going to do that twice. And I don't know why I can't friggin' hit him. 
other than I have poor aim there, and now we have, we have a second head going around, and ah, things just get friggin' hectic in here with all the heads, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I only have a fairy left. I am friggin' screwed, and my friggin' game is slowing down. There's too much on the screen! I'm horrible at this boss battle. I had this problem the last time I tried playing this game. Oh my god, he died! Yes! Okay, we're okay. Heart container. And now we get the real maiden. Thank god. I don't know, I have an extraordinarily hard time with blind. I don't know what it is. It just sucks. Anyway. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. As the wise men sealed the way to the Dark World, the Knights of Hyrule defended them from the attacks of evil monsters. I heard that the Knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the Knights. It is ironic that the last one in the line has the potential to become the hero of legend. Surely you can destroy Ganon. Do you understand? I don't understand your definition of irony, but yeah, we understand what you're saying, I guess. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Woohoo! Alright, so that was awesome, and like one of the shortest, shortest uh, dungeons in this game. And like, they just get shitty after this. I think I've complained about all of them, but uh, yeah, I really don't like this one. And um, what are you? You're 300 rupees! God damn it, I had a feeling. God, how many of them are there? I already lost count. There's like five, six? I thought there were only like three, but I guess not. Um, anyway. Uh, we have, whoa. Now we have the Titan's Mitt, and we can lift um, the dark colored rocks. Like all of the dark colored rocks, like that one down there. And these over here. Let's see, is there a ladder? Okay, good. There is a ladder back up to here. Uh, just show off a bit. Yeah, we can lift it. It's just like, now it's just like uh, how we could do with the light rocks, but now with all the rocks. And. That means that we can lift every rock and we can open up some pathways like the little pathway to this froggy guy and we'll be doing some stuff with him in the next part. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.